today's video I will show you what supplements I take to keep myself somewhat safe from the C virus um, hopefully I'll be able to monetize this video because these days if you mention the C virus your videos get automatically flagged by YouTube for whatever reason now before I start I'd just like to say that I am not a medical doctor of any sort. Um, this is not meant to be medical advice. This is not meant to cure anything or do anything for you. And this is just what I am doing to keep my immune system in shape. And it's based on research that I have done. And whether the outcome of the research is 100% correct, well, I don't know. Um, but this is what I'm doing. Now I'd also like to mention that I'm not a massive supplement person. However, in saying that, I do believe that it is almost impossible these days to get adequate nutrition and vitamins just eating your normal diet. And especially if you are following a calorie restrictive diet or you're doing a lot of exercise or playing a lot of sport which puts more strain on your nutrient requirements. Now the brands that you will see of these supplements are not necessarily the brands that I always get. It's just what's available at the time where I live. Now let's get into it. The first one that's a staple of mine, I have one of these every day, is the Men's Multi Performance Multivitamin. Okay, and that's just a general multivitamin supplement and you know that's all it is it just fills in any gaps in your nutrition that you may or may not have so that's it okay it's just a multi-vitamin i prefer the men's version because it's got specific vitamins that are required for the production of male hormones once daily these are quite cheap there's a hundred tablets they're normally thirty dollars but generally i buy these fifty percent off so you get them for about twelve to fifteen dollars for hundred tablets which will last you over three months so that's not too bad so it's costing me about five dollars a month to take one of these every day so you know it's neither here nor there and it is a dietary supplement now, dietary supplements only work if you're deficient in something. So it's filling in the gaps in your diet. Obviously, if you're taking a supplement and it's got vitamin C in it and you spend all day eating oranges, the supplement's not going to make any difference because you've already got plenty of vitamin C in your system. Okay, so this fills in any gaps in your general nutrition. And, you know, for $5 a month... I'm happy to spend that sort of money to um, make sure that all my gaps hopefully are filled in. Now this particular one here, St John's Wort, and this is a new one. I don't normally take this. I've only started taking this since the um, coronavirus has been around. Okay, St John's Wort is known to kill viruses. And again, do your own research on that. Um, this whole bottle is 60 tablets, it lasts about two months and I think it cost me $12. So, you know, it's not a lot of money and not a lot of money to pay for a little bit of insurance. It may assist with sleeplessness associated with stress and anxiety. So it's supposed to help with that and there's a lot of research on that. However, there's also some research that does say that this does kill viruses. And I'm not necessarily saying it's going to kill the C virus or it's going to cure you or it's going to save your life, but let's just say it does kill viruses or it has been shown to kill viruses. All these supplements that I take are taken according to the directions on the container. So follow those. I don't recommend taking extra of any of these than what is recommended by the um, people that make this stuff. Now, the next one that I use um, daily is Zinc Plus. This is one that I normally have. It's not one that I've started because of the coronavirus. And these are really cheap. Like this one was literally $3 for 90 tablets. Um, again, there was some special. I think it was $2.90 or something for 90 tablets. So it costs nothing. 
Um, zinc is very, very important for male hormone production. It is also very important for immune system strength and supporting your immune system, which is very, very important at this time of the year. And it's also very important at the current climate that we're living in and all the stuff that we are dealing with at the moment. Okay, the next one is D3. Okay, most people these days are D3 deficient. Now, vitamin D3 is very important, again, for hormone production and also for immune system strength. So, you know, it's a perfect time to be taking it. Um, I have been taking D3 for quite some time. Look, I haven't really noticed any difference from taking it, but for like $2 a month, I'm happy to just have some and make sure that my immune system and hormones get supported in the way they should be. Okay, vitamin D3. Now, I recommend you do a little bit of research of your own on all these um, before you start taking stuff that some guy on YouTube tells you to take. By the way, I'm not telling you to take it. I'm just telling you what I'm taking. And the final one we're going to look at, and most people would be well aware of this, is vitamin C. Okay, vitamin C is supposed to be good for your immune system. It's an antioxidant and, you know, it should assist you in fighting off any infections or viruses. Okay, a lot of people hyperdose vitamin C. By that I mean they take like three, four, five, even ten times the recommended dosage. Now, I don't do that and I don't recommend it, but... Again, do your own research. Do what you want to be doing. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm taking these as recommended by the manufacturer on the, um, on the bottle here. It tells you in the directions how many to take, how often to take them, how to take them. I stick with that. Um, sometimes excessive vitamins and minerals may do more harm than good. Again, I'm not a doctor. Do your own research. I'm just telling you what I'm taking at the moment. If you've got any comments in relation to um, what I'm taking here, do me a favour, leave the comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. If there's anything that I'm missing or that you think might be worthwhile considering, also leave a comment down below. And finally, if you're taking any supplements, I'd love to see what you're actually taking, whether it's just a multivitamin or, you know, like some people, they take 20 different supplements. Do you take any protein shakes? Um, what do you think about creatine? Um, you know, what do you think about any of the other millions of supplements out there? If there's anything you found that actually helped you or that actually works for you, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from...